I've made myself a little USB tester. So let's try out this cable. So I plug in that end, and then we plug in this end. So you can see this cable, it's pretty good, um, but it's not going to do high speed USB because it's only got the two data lines. But it's interesting that uh, there's only data lines on one side of the cable. So if I flip this over, you can see our two data lines have swapped over. So that's pretty interesting. So here's another cable. Let's plug this in. So this cable is pretty impressive. Pretty much every single light is lighting up. So this will do full high speed USB 4, 40 gigabytes per second. So pretty impressive. It's interesting though that the two data lines are once again only on one side of the cable. So if we just flip this over, you can see our data lines have moved over. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Now all of these boards came from PCBWay. As always, did a fantastic job. Um, check out a link to the PCBWay guys in the description. But let's talk about the actual assembly of these boards because it was uh, quite an interesting experience. So this has been quite a traumatic experience. Um, here's version one of the board. So we have our two USB sockets, which um, connect using these little USB connectors with all the pins exposed. And we have our nice little battery connector for a coin cell battery. And I've also got these rechargeable lithium coin cells, which you can charge up using this nice little charger. So that's pretty cool. Um, so the first mistake I made was ordering the stencil. This is not particularly practical. So what happened is I ticked the wrong box when ordering the stencil and completely missed the fact that I ordered the very large framed version. Possibly good for a wall decoration, not particularly practical for dispensing solder paste. Um, But fortunately, that gave me a chance to try out the Volterra for solder dispensing. And here's what we've ended up with. Note the bodge wires. So another mistake I made when submitting this, despite my usual very careful checks and sleeping on the PCB overnight, I managed to submit something with DRC errors. So quite a few of the connections were just not connected. So that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, but let's try this out. We'll plug some cables in and see what happens. So I have my uh, little test cable here. Can connect that one and we'll connect this one. So quite a few things light up. Um, it actually works but I know for a fact that this cable doesn't have RX minus, TX minus and it doesn't have SBU2. So what's happened here is that uh, these, um, these pins are actually really hard to actually visually inspect and connect. And unfortunately, a lot of the um, connections are hidden underneath the USB socket. So you can't really tell what's happened and whether it's connected or not. So that was version one, um, not very good. So we come over to version two. So this has been completely redesigned. I'm now using these USB connectors which have the pins broken out with through hole and the other pins broken out so you can actually see them. So this is actually quite easy to visually inspect. And this time I ordered the proper stencil, making life considerably easier. The other change I made um, is I added on the option of having a rechargeable battery um, so you can connect a lithium cell to this directly using this connector. Um, now in hindsight, maybe that's a bit over the top as these coin cells will pretty much last forever given the use case. But let's get this assembled and we'll see how it works.
So this is the most successful one I've managed to make. It is still very difficult to uh, get these um, USB connectors soldered on without causing solder bridges or making bad connections. Um, but this one works reasonably well. You can see there's a D minus missing, which should be there. Now, I don't know if we flip this over. Then, ah, there we go. That's a slightly better connection. But you can see I've got a bad connection somewhere on a ground. So I think for version two, I might just get PCB way to actually do the assembly because life is way too short to be doing a bit of pick and place at home manually when you're doing so many resistors and so many diodes and trying to place these USB connectors. I just can't get them to work properly. So I'll leave it to the professionals. But what I might do is add a bunch of test points so it'll be much easier to detect when there is a short so I can do some quality assessment and then reject the ones where they don't work. So it's pretty nice, looks very pretty, lots of colored lights. Um, if I do get something actually consistent and working well, then I might stick this up somewhere for people to buy because I think it would be quite a useful tool. What I will do is probably get rid of the additional um, lithium ion charging circuit. I think a coin cell is more than sufficient for this use case, especially these nice rechargeable coin cells. So this is my initial thought. What I've done is added test points for every single pin on the uh, USB cable. So we can see this best with the 3D viewer. So here we go. I've got all these nice test points. So in theory, oops, it should be quite easy to test all of these and check for any shorts. But then I had another idea and I thought, wouldn't it be much better if we could break out the actual USB connections. So here's version, I don't know what version this is. Here is another version. So what I've done here is I've actually put some header pins so we can actually connect to the USB connections. So let's have a quick look at how this looks in the 3D view. So I've got one header for connecting up the two battery terminals. And then this header in the middle will break out all of these USB connections. So I think that's actually pretty useful. So I'll probably go with this design. Um, it'd be very easy to make a, a board that slots into this that could actually check all of the connections and make sure there's no shorts. So I think that would be pretty cool. So I'll send this off. I will, dis this time, I'll do a bit more sleeping on it and I will double check every single connection to make sure I've not missed something. But um, I think this version three should be good.